Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Wednesday. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at computer stick. So let's dive right into it. So the idea of a computer stick is very simple. You take a CPU and you cram it into a pen drive. That's all there is to it. So why do we need something like that? It's a basic computer for simple use. Not everybody who needs to edit spreadsheet needs the full capacity of a full size PC. So, you know, uh, for different need scenarios, they will be like, eh, I need something small. For that reason, there is a need for this. And smart TVs are common nowadays, but you have to understand uh, not every TV is smart TV and uh, older TVs, people who have bought like, you know, in the first craze of LCD or LED TVs, they might end up with a system where they have a very good display but may not have a smart TV. So this sort of scenario helps them out and you you might say, okay, can we add this to smart TV? The answer would be yes, because it makes a TV into a full-fledged computer. So that's the crucial part. It makes a computer, not just a smart TV where you can just watch YouTube or things like that. It makes a full-fledged computer. So what we got, that was the idea. So what we got, we got Intel, Asus and Lenovo and there are many more, but these three are the most prominent one. Lenovo, Asus and Intel is the one that started this trend. Uh, whether they were the one first to make it, I do not know, but they were the one that set the trend. It's a very low spec PC, so do not expect 8 GB RAM. They barely have 2 to 4 GB RAM and internal memory is yeah very little. So suffice to say you may get 32 or 64 GB memory. So, and they generally come with the option of putting a micro SD card for extended storage, but they don't come with full size SD cards, which is kind of odd. So, and the cost wise, this is the core important factor about anything. Does it cost proportionately? Like why paying uh, the cost that they are charging? You will feel like, how do you feel? Do you feel ripped off? Or do you like, okay, yeah, that's a fair price. These cost more or less the same as a low end smartphone. Not the lowest end, but like, you know, mid, mid to low range phone. So we got the money done. We got the branded company working at it and uh, everything is, seems dandy. So what's the problem? The problem is most TV are now a smart TV and not everybody's going to do spreadsheet on their smart TV. So that that market flat out died and smartphone is almost there. This is a smartphone that uh, Galaxy Note 9 that was just announced few days ago and as you can see they are flat out aiming for this to act as a desktop does it have enough horsepower to do that yes almost there it's like almost there now you might say of course this is a flagship phone and compute stick cost very little that is true for today imagine three four years from now your smartphone that you are carrying in your phone i'm um, like carrying in your pocket would be more or less the same performance as this heck that might happen in like you know two three years mid-range phone will have more power than that so we have already reached a point and as i already told you uh, the compute sticks are generally low specs these already exceed it and hp is also making their phone razor has tried this uh, odd idea i did not like this implementation i like this implementation this implementation but it, it's a unique idea that in a they will simply sell you a empty screen and keyboard where you just plop on your uh, mobile phone their razor phone and you will get a full-fledged laptop odd idea but uh, android still needs some uh, work need to be done for android so it becomes more comfortable with keyboard and mouse however it's almost there now one thing you have to understand even though let's say they might be able to stay ahead in terms of computational power because of the architecture difference between android and computers they do suffer very severely because of low scale production. Nobody is making millions and millions of this. Even a single phone can be made, you know, 65 million pieces were sold of Note 6, something like that. So suffice to say, instead of tens of millions, they barely make one or two million. So because of this, the cost is always proportionately very high. So all these things compared, the fact that normal TV are now a smart TV. Smartphones are almost to a point where they can replace your uh, low-end desktop. Not a high-end, not a programming workstation, not a your video editing workstation. But like, you know, let's say all you do is uh, address email for uh, people who do security kind of stuff or people who do a point of sale, basically where you have to just put data into a spreadsheet. Smartphones are there. It's there, already there. It's just how convenient it is. So this was my small presentation about Compute Stick. 
that was my presentation i hope you guys liked it or learned from it in that case please like leave a comment and if you didn't like dislike it subscribe press the bell icon because i make video every day and as always thanks for watching